Hey everyone, GTA Pix here with a build tutorial in No Man's Sky. In this guide, we'll be going over how to build this base and the few glitches it takes to get some of the parts in their place. We'll be using the Universal Adjacency glitch and the Scale glitch. After placing your base computer and claiming it so you can start building, I'd suggest building yourself a little shack so you can stand in to protect yourself, especially if the planet you're on has really bad weather. You can place down a save beacon, save yourself some trouble. Okay, so now that you're standing in your little shack protected, we can go ahead and get started on building the base. You want to go ahead and locate where your front door is going to be. In this case, we're going to put it about right here. You want to go to the stone pieces and grab the small stone wall and you want to place down a couple depending on your terrain you might have to place down a few more or you might have to only place down two let's go ahead and grab a floor panel and snap it to the top one and we're going to go three and then on the third one you're going to put three on the outside From there, we're going to come out here and we're going to place down some adornment pieces. So go ahead and grab your cube, grab your pyramid, and grab the small paper. And you're going to copy the cube, place it in the cache so we can do the universal adjacency glitch, grab the paper. Go ahead and place your cube, get rid of these. We're going to place it. Two more cubes, one on the bottom and one on the inside. We're going to use the UAG again, so go ahead and grab your paper, put it in the cache, grab your pyramid, snap it on the outside just like that, and let's bring in the paper, and we're going to bring in the floor top, and we're going to go back to the stone short wall, you're going to snap it on the inside, and you're going to walk it all the way down into the corner. Okay, with the last piece in, we're going to go ahead and delete the ones that we don't need. You want to make sure that you leave the one that connects the two floor panels right here on the bottom. And take these other ones. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. We're going to bring a floor panel in and snap it to this guy. And we're going to snap it to this guy as well. We're going to duplicate the short wall again. And you're going to snap one on the inside of each one. Let's go ahead and duplicate our floor panel and walk two of them in on the inside. Same on the other side. We're going to duplicate the short wall and we're going to put these on the inside. You're going to have to do the same thing for the middle. So don't forget to delete the extra one right there. Let's go ahead and finish this side off. And now we can delete these floor panels all except the first one we're going to use the uag one more time grab your brick put it in the cache grab your paper and put the block in you're going to snap one below and you're going to take the one above you're going to grab the paper again put it in the cache grab your pyramid snap it on top now we got our paper in let's go ahead and replace that with a floor panel We're going to go to our roof pieces. We're going to put one right there so we can grab it later. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting in some doors and windows. Rotate in that right there. Let's go to the other side. Rotate that in as well. Let's put a round window right here in the middle. And we're going to go with a stone wall there. And we're going to put a window right here I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm gonna duplicate this window put it there and we're gonna get the large stone window we're gonna put that on the end so now we're gonna duplicate our floor panel and we're gonna place three of them in we're gonna go back to the build menu and we're gonna grab yourself a triangle and you're gonna snap three of them right there we're gonna do the same thing on the other side Okay, now with your triangle, we can go back to the floor panel 
we're gonna fill in the floor okay now we're gonna start installing these walls you want to use the ones with the uh, round windows here on the sides and then we're gonna go back to the stone wall around the back when we get to the other side we're gonna go back to our window we're gonna place three of them in there like that now with half of the build done we can go ahead and duplicate this roof panel and step that on in on the inside we're gonna come back with these stone walls and you're gonna snap them right on the existing wall that gives us a really nice border around the top okay now that we have all the walls around the top Right here on the back, you're gonna wanna delete these three in the middle. So go ahead and duplicate your floor panel again. And we're gonna snap that to the roof piece, not the wall piece. So go ahead and snap to the roof piece. And we're gonna walk those all the way around till we fill the middle. Okay, now with your roof almost complete, let's go ahead and grab these stone triangle pieces. Fill those in on the top. And right here on the side, away from the middle, you're going to set yourself up. Something to where you can scale glitch. I like to use this emergency heater, but you can use any of these other pieces that um, allow you to, you know, scale them up or down. So let's go ahead and toggle the wire with triangle. PlayStation is a uh, Y on Xbox. Let's go ahead and place the wire and then toggle the wire again. And you see now it's now it's tethered. To the wire so let's go ahead and scale the part all the way up until it stops and then we're gonna wire glitch to get that enlarged wire now okay so now we're gonna go back into our stone pieces and we're gonna grab this stone dome roof we're gonna place it in the cache grab our wire and we're gonna place the part right here off on the side so that way we can just duplicate it pick it up and place it where we need it Let's go ahead and hover right over the center where we think the center is going to be and turn off the snap points. That'll be down on the D-pad. And you're going to go ahead and line up the dome. You can see the center of the piece right in the middle. And you're going to line it up with that roof panel right there. Make sure it looks straight. Right in the center. And you don't want to merge it too far into the wall because then you're going to start merging it into your roof piece just like that. So just want to put it right as it clips into the edge of the wall. Right there looks good. And if you don't like the color of that, we can go ahead and delete this guy. We can go to take the wire as well. If you don't like the color of this, you can just go ahead and grab one of these stone pieces. Okay. And then you go into edit color. And you got to be looking at the part. Okay. You got to be got to be looking at it so let's go ahead and place our part right here edit edit color we're gonna toggle the edit part button which is a square on PlayStation it'll be X on uh, Xbox and now we can select the part and change the color of this as you can see we're gonna head put it right there we're gonna exit out we're gonna duplicate it edit part again so it, it puts it back to its regular size we're gonna start taking all these adornment pieces and these extra Floor panels as well clean up this area there we go okay now we can go ahead and snap our stone dome roof piece right there and we're gonna take this center one right here duplicate it and snap it to that higher point right there we can duplicate this short wall and then just fill fill in the, the holes right there that it that it's gonna leave Okay, so now we're almost done. Let's go ahead and go to the back and fill in the back where we left those three pieces open with some windows. Now if you select the large stone window and you place it right there, it'll just change it to its variant and you can get that nice triangle window looking piece right there. Okay, so with that done, we can go ahead and finish this build off by going to the extruded wall right here. And we're going to place those all the way around the bottom. Okay, so now that we've 
place the extruded stone wall all the way around the, the outside and the bottom acting as a skirt, we can go back and fill these in with these extru extruded stone wall caps. Okay, with those all in place, we can go ahead and add some regular stone walls down here on the bottom where they don't quite make contact with the ground. We're going to come up here to the front where we're going to install our stairs. Let's go ahead and grab the stone ramp, place it there and grab some sloping stone panels right there. Snap them on either side. And now we're almost done. We're going to go into the adornment section, some of these decoration pieces. We're gonna grab the prop flag dividers, edit stone, edit uh, edit colors. I like selecting purple; it gives it gives it a nice look. Go ahead and rotate our piece around like that. Gonna grab the canvas awning. Just increase the size a little bit, bring it on the inside right there where the the border is. Place one on either side. Alright. So now we're gonna work our way onto the inside of the build. And I'm gonna show you a little trick with the light build. So that way if you wanna get the um the cuboid room dividers in, like you see in my example, it'll be a little easier for you. So you want to li line up a fill light. You want to grab your cuboid inner wall, and you're just going to glitch right onto it. And that's all it is. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your build is complete. There's a plenty of space inside to put everything that you need with plenty of room to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.